Good evening, Central. Uh, just sharing tonight's devotion. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of reflection on Revelation 7 9. And if you didn't know, our denomination, the EPC, the Evangelical Presbyterian Church, has declared a task force in the last two years uh, kind of studying uh, Revelation 7 9 and helping local churches understand as they're planning and wanting to implement this in our denomination, how to continue to empower the local church to be thinking how we can reflect this heavenly image that God has for us of the worship that's before him and what it looks like to make sure that each church is engaged in that kind of work, uh, thinking about the many tribes, many nations, many languages. So uh, my devotion tonight is focused on that, the idea of Revelation 7, 9. Um, here's the Bible verse. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. See, the church, God's church, uh, together as we're followers of Jesus, when we're seeing the time when we're before the throne in heaven, it's all tribes, all people. And if we look at what that looks like uh, for us, that heavenly reflection is what's supposed to be engaged in the work that we want to aim ourselves towards. And when you think about that, the, the church, um, the local church, the small C, fits into something bigger, which is the global church, the big C, but it should depict that. A diverse group of Jesus followers from every age, every ethnicity, every gender, every economic status, all worshiping God the Father as an imperfect prelude here on earth, that reflects that image perfectly that's expressed there in heaven. And this idea of what it looks like to embrace what God is doing here on earth, uh, growing that anticipation for what we're going to see in heaven, is seen from the very beginning. Uh, we see from the very beginning what God established in Genesis to the very end, what he's going to finish. Uh, in the images that we see, not just in Revelation 7, 9, but other parts of Revelation in Revelations 5, 6, 7, as well as 14, uh, this picture of all tribes, all languages, all people before God and his throne. Uh, we see in the very beginning when God was establishing his covenant uh, with Abraham, uh, we see in Genesis 12, 3, God's plan was that all families of the earth shall be blessed. God was establishing this covenant with Abraham and saying that you're going to be a great nation, you're going to be a great name. Uh, those that curse you, I will curse. But it was for a purpose. And the purpose wasn't to make Abraham great. The purpose was to make sure that people saw God at work in somebody that couldn't do it himself. And that covenant with Abraham was allowing people around to see that that purpose so that all the families of the earth shall be blessed and see God. That people should know God through seeing the relationship that Abraham had with God. So in us being called God's people... We need to continue to reflect that and see how we're called to be a blessing unto others. So in Genesis, it established that already uh, where we were seeing not just, it wasn't only just for me. It's not just for my peoples. It's for everyone. And in that idea of what God is progressing, we see it throughout all of scripture. We saw in the Old Testament, we see in the New Testament, and we see a lot of what God's doing throughout all of the Gospels, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Jesus' ministry on earth, as well as Acts, as we see the early church and what God's doing in the early church, breathing life and breathing that kind of way of reaching out to others. And we've seen it in our Ephesians series when we're talking about Jews and Gentiles and God breaking down the dividing wall of hostility and seeing that God is calling all people to himself. And as that leads us to today, how important it is for us to understand what it looks like to continue to embrace others, uh, continue to embrace what God's calling us to, um, the idea of all ages. How are we doing in reaching out to the many generations uh, that are right here in our midst uh, that need to be part of this heavenly image that we have? Because right now, if we were in heaven trying to see what that worship looked like, uh, unfortunately, it's not complete yet, and we would see if we were up in heaven right now worshiping God, there may be many missing people that need to be there. And that's God's challenge for us on how to continue to reflect the image of God and, and, and proclaim his word to those that need to hear it. Uh, so all ages, all gender, all kind of uh, just 
the ethnicities and people groups. Uh, and as God continues to engage us in that kind of work, I pray that we would continue to see how God's calling us to our very city because he's doing it around the world. We see our missionaries that are doing work all over the world to unreached people, unengaged people of the world. But what are we doing around the block and how are we sharing the gospel right here? And God's doing a special work as he's brought the nations here uh, through Harvest. We're ministering to immigrant refugees uh, as we continue to build relationship and, and love them and show Christ's love to uh, the Nepalese, the Congolese, the Syrians, the Iraqi. We continue to see it uh, in the ways that we reach out in our community to uh, the different people that are right around us in our foster care system and with Care Portal, as well as through just loving people uh, in our inter international ministries, um, as well as each one of us, I hope, are engaged in the work that we're doing with our neighbors. Um, again, as much as that is just our like our Jerusalem and Judea, uh, there are many that still need to know the gospel, uh, many that need to know Jesus, and many that need to know uh, what that looks like in becoming part of this worship that includes all. Uh, so would we pray? Uh, we continue to consider how God's going to use each one of us to, again, remember that earthly, uh, the, what God's engaged us here on this earthly mission uh, for ways that we want to see that heavenly uh, image of heaven uh, come to fruition. So uh, may God use us, may God bless us, and continue to lead us in being a Revelation 7-9 church. Thank you and God bless you guys.